Ready whenever you are. Just let me know when you're gonna push Go ahead. Start. I already did. Alright, All right, we're here with American Fangs on, uh, what is it? What's the name of this tour? Tonight We Come Alive. Tonight, Tonight we, we Feel Alive. Tonight We Feel Alive. Tonight We, Tonight we Come Alive tour. Uh, they're based out of Texas. Um, you stole me. You are? Gabriel. Gabriel. I'm Micah. And you do vocals? I'm the vocalist. you do drums. drums. Alright, um, got some basic questions and uh, then we're going to get into hopefully a little bit more funner questions, but I got some standard ones I got to ask you guys. Um, who's your current tattoo artist? If you have more than one, feel free to name them and the shop they work at. He's been in the fucking shop a lot more in the past year. Yeah. Uh, her name's Christina Sparrow, and uh, she's from Houston, Texas. She uh, was working at a couple different shops, uh, one called Bombshell and one called Sacred Heart. But she uh, recently opened up her own, um, which is in the same vicinity, like Montrose area um, of Houston, and it's called uh, Gaslight Gallery. Yeah, I was... Uh, I, I'm always broke, so I don't always have money. But uh, when I did have money, I was going to a scorpion tattoo, and, and they're pretty famous in, in Houston. And and uh, uh, Kevin Poole was doing my tattoo. He did my side piece. And my first piece was actually done by Christian. Uh, what was his name? His last name? I forgot. He's crazy. He's fucking insane. <laughs> He'll fucking probably like, shoot me for forgetting his name. But uh, he did my first one. And then um, my second one was done by Brett Os Osborne. He was working at Bombshell at the time, but I think he's independent now. Cool. Don't feel bad. I don't even remember who did my yeah, first tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> and it was a stupid little tribal piece. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you guys got any crazy tour stories? Any crazy fans? Man, I wish we had crazy fans. We're kind of, being the opener, we're like really focused on just not getting in the way of like the, the way the ship runs on tour. So we, we pull in early, you know, we try to get set up and so we can perform at our best. But uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to the fucking crazies. I'm still waiting. Uh, being, uh, we did, there was a shootout in Detroit the other night and that was fucking insane. All the bands got like blocked in by the cops. <laughs> so in retrospect, it's really funny, but when it was happening, it was like, I'm drunk and there's gunshots. Uh, what do <laughs> yeah, I mean? Uh, how long has American Fangs been a band? About two and a half years? Uh, yeah, probably coming up on like three years since uh, around this time in 2007. 2007. So roughly around that time. Cool. And how many albums do you have out right now? We released, we have uh, a six song EP that's been out for about a year and a half. And we've been working on our first full length for uh, probably the better half of this year now. And so it's. Um, we were hoping to have had it out late this year, but uh, it's got pushed back and pushed back a little bit, so it'll probably be sometime first quarter next year. That cool, I'll definitely it. be excited to hear that, because like I said, I saw your, your guys' video, mm -hmm. and it was pretty Well, you hear a lot of the tunes from the album, predominantly are all new tunes, so. Cool. cool. And uh, what's the inspiration behind your music? Oh, um, man, like, I like writing about a lot of stuff. Initially, the... Uh, a lot of the, the shit I was writing about consisted more of just like I didn't want to write about love and I didn't want to write about like the the things that really come naturally so I ended up writing a lot about American culture and consumerism and like sexual deviance and just little things like that in a vague sort of way but a, a fun way so that I could just have fun and not be so dramatic all the time do you guys got any side projects besides from what you're doing now no, no. I mean, I, I ride a lot, and I like all kinds of music, but there's just, we've been on the road for right for, for about two years. So. And how did you guys come up with the band name American Fangs? And I saw online that they list you guys as Afropunk. What is, yeah, what is that? We're, <laughs> I, I, we love all the people at Afropunk, but we are fucking I-N-D-E-P-E-D-E-N-T. So <laughs> we, fucking, we do all of our own shit. And they fucking gave us a boost that was awesome. We got the tour with Saul Williams, who's a fucking phenomenal nice. performer and poet. But um, uh, I just want to... Fangs are fucking awesome, you know? They're just awesome in general. Everybody likes them. Oh, yeah. And, um, but I think the band name was taken just Fangs, so... Uh, we were like, well, I'm writing about all this American shit, so it's American fans. Sweet. And how was it filming your video, Look Kick? That was, it was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it was ridiculous. We, we got up to this warehouse at 
fuck, like 10 a.m., and we got like two huge handles of Jameson and as many <laughs> cases of beer as we could and all hold. A lot hold. of pizza. <laughs> and, yeah, and Van B- Blumreich uh, out of Austin, Houston, and Seattle right now, who's done like Mailing Sons of Disaster and oh, a that. bunch of other uh, artists. Uh, he, he was fucking awesome enough to just help us create something and make it and give it his touch. So, my man. <laughs> Right on. And how's it feel to be a part of the Tonight We Feel Alive tour with Headliner Four Year Strong and Come Back Good? Yeah, it's fucking pretty fucking awesome. Yeah, it's the most intense touring we've ever done. Like, we've done some stints here and there, but never. Like, this tour, we play like 10 shows, have a day off. We play like 15 more, have a day off, and then 13 more, and that's it. So, and that's probably normal for a band that is constantly gigging, and we're, we consider ourselves a baby band, and we're learning a lot. Watching like the four year strong guys come back, kid in the Wonder Years do their thing is is awesome, and they're very inviting guys. They're like just v- down to earth, some of the best guys ever. So that's also makes it even better. Sweet. And last but not least, any big plans for the future? Any exciting news coming up? Uh, what does the future hold for American Fangs? Man, I, I always feel like we're one of those bands like in Back to the Future when like fucking <laughs> Marty finishes playing, he's like, your kids are gonna love it. Like I think. We're a band that people will get in a year. You know, we have, we're we're kind of trashy live, but we have a pop sensibility, right. and eventually, I think that's going to bleed over into a lot of people's homes, and I think we'll end up being a household name. So. Sweet. I definitely thank you guys for taking the time out thank here. Thank you, man. Uh, Thanks for coming up and interviewing us. <laughs> definitely, and I uh, can't wait to see you guys perform, and I can't wait to hear that album. Awesome, man. Cool. Right cool. on. Thank you. Sweet.